everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today is going to be part four actually this is going to be part five of the chassis jig it's going to be the actual i guess the main frame if you want to call it or the table part of it we're going to start working on that um you'll have to excuse my appearance for today it's it's only about 78 degrees but it is 99 percent humidity um probably about another half hour so i'm going to be completely drenched but it's not supposed to rain for another couple hours so i gotta make do with the time that i have so what we're going to be doing today, or starting off today with, is we're going to be putting the feet on the cross members for the jig. I'm not going to shoot this all in real time. I will probably just do a long um, time lapse for it. So uh, let's cut into that. That's the first of four that I want to build today. And uh, let me show you what the idea of what these things really are. All right, so what the purpose of the cross member with the feet is that I have two long, um, I guess, main beams for the, for the jig table. They have to be 36 inches apart, the entire length. There will be four of these braces. The feet are 36 inches apart on the inside. What I'm gonna to do to help weld up the frame is hold it two main beams in place with these. These will be clamped in with some U-clamps or U-bolts. And then I'll be able to weld in the cross members while hopefully everything stays square. It's going to be a, big, uh, a bit of a project for sure, but uh, basically taking this one step at a time. So I have three more of these to do today. Uh, what I've found really handy are these squares, if I get this one. These uh, fabrication squares from Fireball Tool. Um, they come with these, or these are accessories. These are edge alignment pins. You just screw them into the bottom. And now you can use the edge to line up the square, basically in any location. And this will be you know, perpendicular to this axis. I'm definitely helping out with this project for sure. Okay, now let's do some more welding. So I got all four cross member bars uh, welded up. We're going to just shoot some uh, Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer on them. Just so they don't rust on me. I still got a little bit more welding to do for the brackets, but I can always grind off the, the primer. But here's what we have. So here they are, they're all uh, coated with some Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. Getting ready for, I guess the next step would be to start assembling the actual main table itself. So we're gonna wrap it up here today because it's, it's getting late. These still have to dry and we'll get back at it the next day. 